What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Hero vs. Zero Season 5, Episode 5. Today, I am once again joined by the guy with a galaxy brain for gaming challenges. Oh my god, that was a good one. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So alliterative, right? <laughs> Let me go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. It's me, Nate. My brain's definitely not galaxy, but... Yeah, I more like it. more like universe. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we are back again to to celebrate the Panel Upon challenge. So thank you to all of you who participated. Um, we're in for another fun challenge later this week. And again, everybody's been competing in the Discord and posting their times and such. So a lot of these results won't be, you know, a surprise to many of the participants. But maybe for those avid fans that are cheering on a particular contestant... <laughs> but haven't been participating themselves and religiously watch these every week, popcorn in hand. Uh, that's me. That's me. I'm on the edge me. of my seat. Yeah. They're really looking forward to these results, so let's let's get into it. I will say, first of all, this challenge really surprised me in a lot of different ways. Um, I set up the challenge that Cordelia on hard mode in and of itself would be really diff difficult to complete just due to the nature of playing the game. Um, and within two minutes in particular, but within a day or two, most people had a good run um, in less than two minutes, which is really impressive. Um, I love, although I know a couple people had played the game prior and had that sort of experience. But then the time started getting crazy. Like, <laughs> like really <laughs> crazy. They, they, um, got so, they got way too low. They got way too low. So it was like in the minute 40 range, and then like minute 30, and then like just over a minute. And then we started getting like sub minute times, like in the 40 seconds. And then it got lower. And then it got lower again. So I hope you guys are ready for some of these times. But it was pretty nuts. Um, my original intention was to have this be a challenge that tested a player's ability to be given a board they weren't prepared for and to have developed a set of skills that allowed them to create really good combos or chains of clears that would create, you know, really big garbage blocks for Cordelia in order to quickly knock her out. The game, rather the challenge, did take an unforeseen twist, given that <laughs> um, as players were resetting over and over on Cordelia, they noticed that sometimes they would get the same board at the beginning. And this led this dive into RNG manipulation, and I had originally uh, made pausing illegal because I didn't want people to look at their board and then plan their next moves and then do it. Um, however, RNG manipulation kind of gets around it. It was discovered relatively late in the challenge. And so it became a different challenge where um, using this RNG manipulation, you had to come up with an optimal solve strategy for a particular board you tried to get over and over. And that in and of itself is a cool challenge. I will say it's not exactly what I intended, but that's uh, that's the game's fault and that's my fault, not necessarily the players who, you know, just have to work within the rules of the system. But all of that said, um, I'd like to start by saying that there were a couple people who participated, uh, namely Renine and Nyrock, who didn't end up completing the challenge, but I can appreciate that they at least gave the game a go, um, opened themselves up to a new genre potentially and a really cool game within it. So thank you so much for participating. And then thank you to Tapris and Leo and Beechamp who completed times um, without using the RNG manipulation first, relatively late in the challenge nonetheless, and um, still got you know completion of that Nate difficulty, which is really cool. I, I should say actually, everybody who completed the challenge this week completed the Nate difficulty. And everybody who did not complete it, well, they didn't even complete the Nick difficulty. So there were no exclusively Nick difficulty challenge completions this week, <laughs> interestingly. But congrats Tapris on a one minute and 10 second run. Congrats Leo on a 56 second run. These are, you know, really clean runs. And again, they were non-RNG manipulation. Um, Beachamp does have a better uh, run later on that we'll get to. Spoiler alert, I guess. Um, <laughs> but let's talk about our podium, our top three question mark um, because it's a little bit different this week so without further ado let's talk about the third place run in third place or in third place none other than the the king of third place himself b champ <laughs> with a 19 second run getting third place for the fourth out of the five challenges 
Um, and after, after having placed in, you know, third place overall for, you know, multiple weeks in a row, Beachamp has a solid run. Um, Beachamp completed a sub minute one or sub one minute run without RNG manipulation. And then when the strategy was discovered, came up with this 19 second run. It's really impressive. Um, it's crazy that we're getting times, you know, in less than 20 seconds and we're talking about third place. <laughs> so yeah, good job Beachamp. Um, you'll notice that some of the boards that the different players use are, are different, so the strategies involved are different, and you can see the pretty cool um, chains and combos and, and such. So thanks again, Beachamp, for that. And then, in second place, we have a tie between Risa and Ben. Now, you may be wondering, what a tie? How could they possibly have tied, or why did you not break the tie? Well, they both got 13 seconds for their runs. 13 seconds, which is near like perfect. Like the TAS, I think, has like a 12 or 11 second run. It's nuts. Um, but they did it. So, <laughs> excellent job in terms of um, optimally planning for the specific board that they did. And really, um, I guess I, my, my brain exploded when I was seeing times of like 13 seconds. So, that was really cool. Um, I was thinking that we might tie break based on. Um, execution of really long chains um, or really expertly created combos etc but again due to the nature of the planning that was going into these RNG manipulated runs I didn't think that was a particularly fair tie break nor was I going to count frame by frame to see if you know one of them was 13 seconds but a few frames faster I think it was pretty fair to say that with how close their runs are um, they both deserve a similar amount of points not a huge one point differential. And of course, we've got to keep Beachamp in third place. So they are tied at second place. Congrats, Risa and Ben. And thank you, um, particularly Risa, for streaming so many attempts. And really, Risa was the first person to really hammer that time down over and over. You can see the progression, um, which is always great. And then in first place, you're like, what? How can we get lower than 13 seconds? Well, you guessed it. We have a 12 second run from DNC. <sighs> Nuts, right? Crazy. I know, I know. Um, <laughs> DNC's run in 12 seconds. DNC, it was it was so crazy because Risa was hammering away at these times, and then DNC just like came out of nowhere with like a 30 some like 33 second run, and then Risa would get like a 28 second run, and DNC would get a 25 second run, and then Risa would get like a 19 second run, and then DNC would get like a 14 second run, and then Risa would get a 13 second run, and DNC would get a 12 second run. It was it was nuts back and forth between these two um, really heated contestants who were really pushing the the limits of this challenge and so congrats to DNC I think this ties the task or something like that for an individual level which is also pretty crazy and um, yeah so so great job with the challenge this week and I mean at this point I don't I don't really have too much more to say nor my pressure to say it because it's not like we have you know 10 runs that are like a minute or two long that I'm gonna have to speed up in editing we're talking about 12 15 second runs here <laughs> that are just repeating now as I'm speaking do you have anything else to add, Nate? I, I think you just about covered it. It's especially the little DNC Risa rivalry. Yeah. That was so cool to watch. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, it was also really nice that after the Nate difficulty was, I guess, completed by so many participants, the challenge really became whittling that time away, just like the Super Meat Boy challenge, which is something we were aiming for. So that's always good. And I'm glad that a lot of people had the chance to really delve into this game that um, deserves a lot more attention than it gets. And so with that, let's talk about the current overall standings. In first place, we still have Risa with 18 points. And in second place, we have Ben with 17 points. Ooh, that one point differential is going to be really big uh, this upcoming challenge. And then, of course, in third place, none other than Beachamp with 14 points. Beachamp, the, the king of third place. And then in fourth place, interestingly, we have DNC, who has only completed or competed in two challenges, but has done so well in those challenges that they have 11 points, which is which is nuts. Um, and has its shot at the podium, actually, for the top three, given how this last challenge could go. Then in fifth place, we have Leo with 10 points, who, again, also did not compete in that first challenge, but obviously would have a great shot at the top three as well. And then we have CJ Pancake, who sadly did not participate this week, breaking his streak of participating in everyone. And then also tied in fifth? Yeah, we're on five, right? 
No, we're on sixth place. In sixth place, <laughs> we're tied. <laughs> we have Siege of Pancake and Steffo and Nyrock and Tapris. Tapris completing two Nate difficulties in a row. Nyrock continuing her streak of participating in every challenge and completing a couple of them at the Nick difficulty. And Steffo still hanging on strong from that first place in Super Meat Boy. And then in, what are we, what are we on now? Uh, tenth place, right? Yeah, tenth place. We have Renine with three points for three participations. Thank you again for participating and contributing to the fun, competitive atmosphere. And then in the last place, we still have yet again the doofus himself, Alex. Love you, Alex. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, the next challenge coming up, I, as many of you in HeroNet know, I've been stretched very, or spread very thin recently. So, I was not too involved in this particular one. However, Nate himself, the galaxy brain of game challenges, designed this so well that he's going to be the one to, to really handle it. So, so take it away. Oh, I don't you. know if it's, if it's really that amazing, Nick, but thank oh, you. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, okay. Well, the next challenge is, uh, is Mega Man Zero Three. Woo! Now, this is one of my absolute favorite games of all time. Nick's also a huge fan of the Zero series. Amazing games. No, what gave um, away? Oh, I don't know, Nick. Just a, <laughs> <laughs> just a feeling. Um, and we always wanted to throw in one of these games in here versus Zero, and uh, Mega Man challenges are definitely, definitely not new around here. Um, but we decided to find a stage uh, that had very little RNG, that was all about tight platforming, and all about that execution. And so um, I decided on one of the later stages. It's a very difficult stage, so because of that, the Nick difficulty is going to be just beat a deathless. It's all you have to do. It's a tricky stage. It's all about tight platforming, making certain cycles, and when you're fighting the boss, it's all about really good timing. Um, now for the Nick difficulty, you're gonna you're gonna want to S rank it. S ranking in Mega Man Zero um, is affected by a couple things, um, like how much damage you take, how many enemies you kill, and um, whether you die. But in this case, you're not gonna be dying anyway, so we don't even worry about that. Um, and whether or not you use something called um, a fusion elf, which is just like a one-time single-use item that can make the stage easier. Um, and for this particular stage, the requirements is that you want to beat it in under 3 minutes and 40 seconds, and you have to kill at least 32 enemies. Um, and one last thing, uh, with S ranking, you don't actually have to do it no damage. You can take some damage, but not much. Uh, I believe you can take up to 6 points of damage and still get the S rank. So detailed, so thorough. Thank you so much for all of that info, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should also mention that um, Nate and I guess on HeroNet we'll have some files available that further explain some of the rules, how combos work, and for those of you that will be emulating save states um, that will make getting to those points in the game more accessible. Uh, yes, uh, I did um, prepare some uh, save states for both um, Visual Boy Advance and some other emulators that are quite popular. So, um, you just let me know what your emulator of choice is, and I'm sure it'll be in that little pack. Uh, as well as those goodies, I made a little document on how to make cool combos in this game, because uh, it's not just about jumping and shooting. Uh, you can do all <laughs> kinds of flashy combos to dispatch bosses really quickly and efficiently. It's really fun to experiment with. Couldn't agree more. And I guess if um, emulating is not your jam, uh, you can always play on the Zero slash ZX Legacy Collection for the PlayStation 4 or Switch. Is it on Xbox as well? Maybe. I think so. Maybe. It's on Steam too, so um, those are always options. There's the Zero Collection on the DS, and of course there's the actual Game Boy games themselves. And I don't know, you can record it however you can, and the usual rules apply. Get those submissions in um, on HeroNet on the Discord, which you need to join if you want to participate. And... <laughs> either upload them on YouTube, some people have been posting their runs on Twitter, uh, some people, you know, Twitch clips, whatever it may be, just make sure they're either sent to me or Nate on Discord um, by noon PST on Saturday. And I think that should be good. Anything yep. else? Um, no, I think, I think we just about covered it. Alright, well, then with that said, we will let you guys get straight away at this challenge. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. It is the final one, so let's finish strong 
And we'll see you guys next week for the overall results. So get excited for that. But until that episode, this is Moon Knight Zero. And Nate. And this mission is complete.